Hi, Dr. Michelle here. Today I'm going to be making my all healthy coconut French toast. Now, traditional French toast is typically made with thick white bread, fried in ample butter or oil, coated in a thick layer of refined white sugar, and possibly paired with some highly processed golden syrup or pancake syrup to top it all off. A surefire recipe for spiking and then crashing your blood sugar levels, leaving you feeling tired, hungry, and in search of more sugary and starchy food not long after. Not what we want from a healthy breakfast or if you're looking to lose weight. With this recipe, you can eat French toast for breakfast, lunch, or supper without worrying about that happening or piling on the pounds as it doesn't contain the refined carbs, added sugar, and calories of the standard version. It tastes so decadent and delicious, you'll have a hard time believing that it's totally waistline friendly and super good for you too. It's made from all healthy, natural ingredients. So this is a great one for kids too. And you can feel smug that you're not just giving them a ton of white bread and sugar, like the thick khala French toast of my youth, but they still get to enjoy the delicious taste and treat of having French toast. And I can vouch that this tastes just as delicious as the far less healthy, more sugar laden version of my childhood. The quantities for this recipe that I'm making here serve one, but you can easily multiply it if you're making it for more people or double it if you want a bigger breakfast or brunch or even fun breakfast for supper, which I often make for myself. So let's get on and make it and I'll talk through the health benefits of the ingredients as we go along. Okay, so first up we have our bread. I'm using regular wholemeal bread. You can use any whole grain, seeded, granary bread that you prefer. These types of bread provide a good source of fiber, B vitamins, and protein. Nowadays, there is such a range of breads on the market. You can use whichever you prefer. If you need gluten-free, just avoid your standard refined white bread which doesn't pack in much goodness at all. And just a note to say that sourdough bread, even white sourdough bread, is unlike typical white bread in that it is healthy. It's amazing for gut health, but I'll go into that another time. Then we've got our egg and milk, providing a good source of protein, vitamins, minerals, calcium. I'm using unsweetened almond milk, but you can use regular milk, whole milk, semi-skim milk oat milk, any plant-based milk you prefer, they all work just as well in this recipe. Then I've got our unsweetened coconut. Coconut has so many amazing health benefits due to its unique fat content known as MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. And I'm also gonna cook it in coconut oil, so even more of that goodness. It's been shown to help lower bad cholesterol, raise our good HDL cholesterol, be protective against heart disease, help with weight management, even increase activity of fat burning cells. So what's not to love? And then we're gonna pair it with some cinnamon, which is anti-inflammatory, that helps to lower blood sugar levels, and serve it with some berries, which are packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that protect against cancer, dementia, heart disease, and so much more. And I'll get on to talking about these when we serve it up. So let's get on and make it. Okay, so first up, we're just gonna put a tablespoon of milk into the egg. There we go, and beat it together. Okay, we've got the egg and milk nicely beaten. I'm just gonna put it into a shallow bowl. You'll see why. And then we're just gonna coat our bread into the egg and milk mixture. So it soaks up all that goodness. Okay, once it's nicely coated, just remove it and shake off any excess. Put it onto a plate and we're gonna, oh, I just need to wipe my hands. Give me one minute. <laughs> okay, and now we're just gonna coat it in the coconut. So just use a spoon. I'm not gonna dip it in because that'll make a mess. So just sprinkle it generously. You want it well coated on both sides. Obviously the excess will come off. 
just nicely coated. And this is unsweetened coconut, so it's pure goodness. It's also got fiber, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, even some protein, and of course our healthy fats, which we love. Now your bread is all ready to make into French toast. Okay, now I've just heated up some coconut oil in the pan over a medium heat, and I'm gonna put the bread in. Ooh. Heat up and you're just gonna fry it on both sides until it's golden brown. Okay, now it's looking pretty golden brown and just how we want it. So I'm gonna transfer it to a plate. There we go. Turn the heat off, and that literally took just like two to three minutes to make. Okay, so it's all ready now. I'm just gonna show you how we finish it off to serve it. So to start off with, I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of granulated sweetener. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know I've been putting out a few posts debunking the myths around sweeteners. I actually have three very short videos up on this page. Go check them out if you're worried about sweeteners. They are totally safe, but more on that over there. So I'm just using regular, all natural stevia, but you can use xylitol, erythritol, whatever you like. And they're totally safe for kids too, by the way, just a tiny bit. And they're also much, much sweeter than sugar. So you only need a small amount. So I'm just sprinkling that on. Some cinnamon, I absolutely love cinnamon. And as I said, there are so many health benefits. My husband actually hates it, but that just means I don't have to share this. Then I've got the cinnamon. I'm gonna pop that onto a plate. I will cut it up just to make it look nice. And let's pair it with our berries. Strawberries, you can use any fruit you like, but blackberries, even kiwis, it doesn't need to be berries. And I'll just finish it off for the classic French toast finish with a little drizzle of agave syrup, which is also unrefined, all natural, from a plant. And look how good that looks. A perfectly balanced meal. You've got whole grain goodness, fiber, protein, healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. What more do you want? This is actually a meal option in both my books in the 28 day attack phase plan. So that just goes to show how healthy it is. And there's also a vegan version in my vegan book, The Food Effect Diet vegan so do check it out you can make french toast without eggs and let me know if you try this i am on instagram at the food effect dr please tag me and share if you make this and make sure you're subscribed to my channel i'm going to be putting out a new video every week so you don't want to miss out and thank you so much for watching